So I have to go downtown this morning. I'm up early. I have to testify in court for the impaired driver that hit me back uh, around Sled Island. Uh, and uh, basically, during the week, I, I don't go down there because it's just too busy. Parking's expensive, all that kind of stuff. Things that I avoid normally when I'm down there. So I am going to do something that I have not done in probably forever, and that's ride the C train. And based on what I pick up Lloyd and what he tells me, I'm not exactly looking forward to it. We're gonna head to the C train station, head down, go to court, get that over with, and then get back to my regular day. Bit of pain in the ass, had to park, walk a whole pile, get on the train, come downtown. But I'm down here now, I'm gonna grab something to eat, and then go to court. So, court's done. Ultimately what happened was, didn't have to take the stand, pled guilty, so that's all said and done, which is good. May have to show up for a subsequent charge in the new year, but other than that, pretty straightforward. Hopefully nothing's burning down. So anyways, I'm gonna head back up, I'm gonna catch the train. Maybe I'll stay down and grab some lunch downtown, I haven't figured it out yet. I would like to get back to work. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Going back to the truck. And I know people always tell me this is busy, always overcrowded, stuff like that. Maybe I'm just on the train at the wrong time, but I'm here by myself. It's not so bad, actually, like this. I could get used to my own personal transport car. What can I say? But anyways, this is gonna be a bit of a hike back to the truck. One thing I will complain about for C train is the fact there is absolutely no parking near the station, which I thought was weird. Kind of left early, I got there. There's all these reserve spots that were empty. And then basically nowhere for me to park. All those other parking spots were full or they had like weird time limits. And I didn't know how long I was gonna be. So I couldn't park there for just two hours because if I was there for four, if this thing went to trial, I would have uh, got myself a parking ticket. So I had to park a ways away and then hike into the station. But anyways, we're just about pulling in now. So, get on with my day. Like I said, not my typical start to the day, but something different. It's not often that I pop on a collar, but I figured at least for court I should dress appropriately. It's actually a nice view of the mountains over there. It's our stop, we're gonna get off. And I said, take a hike back to the Jeep. Age thing, you open, close the door. I don't even know what the hell. Press this, the toilet seat comes out. Thank you. 
Oh my god, why are you doing really fucking weird? Like I said, all the parking spots here are pretty much taken up, so it is a bit of a hike. And I mean a long hike, a big long hill to get back to the Jeep, so it's going to take me a few minutes. And the Jeep, and somebody with another Jeep right here. I don't know about Stoke City Potters, but... Uh, I do approve of the Bones Brigade sticker. Nice bumper. It's got like a Garvin rack. Real like right on top. I don't kind of want to peek in, but I like how he's done it. So tonight I'm at the Gray Eagle again tonight. Tonight is the Headstones Big Wreck and One Bad Sun. There's also CJ92's Halloween party. Just in case you didn't know, I'm dressed up as James Hatfield, as is tradition, and I'll be taking photos. So let's get to her. All right, folks, they only gave us like 10 minutes to do this, and then it's time for one bad son, but thanks for hanging. 